Halloween is a day to remember the dead, so now is a good time to mention that there are nearly two million dead people who are still on the voter rolls. David Becker is the director of election initiatives at the Pew Charitable Trust. Okay, David, this is a fascinating topic. Explain to me, we still have two million people in this country who are no longer living, but are registered to vote. How? Well, the real problem is that election officials who have this incredibly difficult job of maintaining the voter list in this highly mobile society. About one in eight Americans moves in any given year, one in nine Americans. Um, they don't have the tools necessary to be able to keep up with that mobility and with the deaths that occur year to year. It's a complex data problem that actually exists, data management. And so they do the best they can with the tools they're given, but it's very hard because one of the things election officials don't want to do is take someone off the list when they're still eligible to vote. Obviously, having two million people who are no longer living on Earth registered to vote strikes many people as odd, but is it is it in actuality a problem here a lot of talk about voter fraud mm -hmm. we hear a lot of talk about dead people voting do we have evidence that that's the case there's virtually no evidence of dead people having cast a ballot in some way someone casting a ballot on their behalf there's virtually no evidence of that but it is a problem in other contexts you uh, you already mentioned it kind of um, causes people to question the integrity of the election process when they know this many dead people are on the list. And perhaps as importantly, it's highly inefficient and highly uh, ineffective from a cost perspective. Because election officials who are doing this wonderful and difficult job of, of running elections as they occur have to mail things out to voters, have to draw right. precinct lines and plan polling places. And if they're doing this to people who are no longer on the rolls, or they're, they're, this is taxpayer dollars that are, that are being spent that are unnecessarily. It's inefficient on its face. I, I think we understand why. But I want to get to something looking forward, which is uh, we are now five days away from the uh, Virginia gubernatorial election. Virginia just purged 40 plus thousand people from the voter rolls in the last month or so. Why does this happen? Uh, and how often does it happen? And how does it affect elections? Do we know? So election officials are both required to by law and for good reason are trying to keep their rolls up to date as much as possible. Um, preferably between election cycles, but a lot of attention is only paid, at the, paid to this right before right. an election. And that's understandable in the sense that that's when most of the voter registration activity is occurring. One of the real challenges for election officials is that voter registration activity is almost all concentrated right before a presidential election. Right, it's so, like the IRS in a way. It's like filing your taxes. Almost everybody does it right at the very end, so and there's a bottleneck. Except multiply that by four because it's a four-year cycle. Good point. It's so not annually. think about a business that has a 48-month cycle where 46 months of that, 46, <laughs> seven months, are pretty even-handed. They can manage that level of activity. Yep. And then during one to two months, everything goes off the charts. Very difficult to manage. And election officials will tell you that if someone moved in December of 2012, they probably won't learn about it until October 2016 because they don't have the tools necessary to find it. What some states are starting to do is to develop those tools. We partnered with seven pioneering states, including Virginia and Maryland actually, to um, build a data center that can help them identify people who've moved or died between election cycles and not just right so before the election. So they're not waiting for four years. This exactly. is fascinating stuff. I'm glad we got you in to talk about David Becker, Director of Elec Election Initiatives at the Pew Charitable Trust. Thank you. Oh, it's my pleasure.